everyone and welcome to our review of Confessions by Kanae Minato. This is a Japanese thriller and its original title in Japanese is Kokuhaku, which literally translates to Confessions. The novel is Kanae Minato's debut novel and it was published in Japan in 2008 and it was translated into English by Stephen Snyder and published in 2014 at Mulholland Books. In Japan, the book was a bestseller and it was awarded three Japanese awards, including the Honya Taisho, which is the Japanese Bookseller Award. Like I said earlier, Confessions is a thriller and it is told through five different perspectives. We have the perspective of a middle school teacher, three of her students, and the mother of one of the students. And all of the stories focus on one event, which is the death of the middle school teacher's four-year-old daughter. Each of the narrations in the book are focused on the same interval and on the same events that surround this child's death and they are told through the perspective of each of the characters so instead of getting a big linear plot in which different things are told through different people's perspectives we get the same event that's told through different views which i found very interesting because it is really interesting it just in general not just with this book but it is fascinating how the same event could be told so differently through different eyes and there is not two people in the world that perceive the same situation in exactly the same way and it was very interesting to see in the book how things differed and of course twists come with every different perspective so that kept it even more intense as a thriller. I don't want to say too much more about the plot because I think it's best to know as little as possible to just be surprised and not see any of the twists coming and that way really enjoy it much more. I think the back of the book gives a lot away. So if you're interested to buy the book, um, I would suggest just buying it and reading it without reading the back, without reading too much about it. Having said that, I do think that the book brings up a lot of interesting themes and topics and I think they are very relevant to today's society, not just in Japan, but overall in the world. There's a bunch of big topics in the book. One of them is revenge. Both of the sides are kind of argumented in the book, whether responding with violence to violence is the right answer or whether people can be rehabilitated. And I think that's, that, that is one of the interesting themes that is brought up in Confessions. And the other one that ties in very well with this is the idea of juvenile law and really who is to blame for young people, particularly middle school aged, committing crimes like going as far as murder. Another thing that ties into that is the fact that these kind of events where young people, teens or preteens commit murder or commit different atrocities receive a very high amount of media attention and it is much easier to become infamous in the media than because famous in the media. All these topics that are brought up in the book are very interesting. They're very fascinating to me, especially since I think, again, they're very relevant to what is going on in today's world. And I think in this book, they are very nicely touched upon because of the multiple perspectives. So we get adult perspectives and we get young teen perspectives. And within those, there are very different personalities. So we get a variety of opinions and a variety of views. So I thought that was very interesting. There's also a couple of other interesting aspects that the book touches upon, and it is the way that single mothers are viewed in Japan and the role that teachers are expected to play in Japan and kind of how much teachers are responsible for their students in Japan. One thing that is mentioned in the book that really surprised me is that when a child gets in trouble somewhere outside of school hours, like in a, an arcade or something like that, their teacher is called and supposed to go pick them up and help them. I never heard of that ever happening in Romania and I'm pretty sure in the US it's the same thing. Once you're outside of school hours, your parents are responsible for you. So I was really surprised to see that in Japan, teachers are responsible of their students far more than just teaching them in the classroom. And the fact that so much responsibility falls on the teacher's shoulders is very interesting. Another thing that I found really interesting is the fact that I hadn't realized that single mothers are so stigmatized in Japan. I might be wrong to generalize it just based on the book, but I did get the impression that it's very hard to be a single mother and not just hard 
to support yourself and your child financially but the fact that other parents would disapprove of a single mother teaching their children which it seems really outrageous i don't really know if that's the case or not but according to the book it is so that really surprised me and there's a bunch of other views like that of family and just values in the book that are very interesting and paint an interesting picture of Japan. The writing and the translation of the book were very good. I was really engaged throughout and it was very intense and it was very fast paced. It got a bit repetitive at times because of the same story being told so many times. But again, I thought the perspectives were so interesting that I can't really say I ever got bored during the book. The only real downside to my experience with the book is that I have seen the movie adaptation of it multiple times before, so I kind of knew everything that was going to happen. The book was adapted into a movie in 2010, and it was shortlisted for an Oscar award, and it is a really, really great movie. I'm planning on watching it again now that I've read the book and make a review just separately for the movie. But in relation to the book, it was obviously a downside having known everything that was going to happen, so I didn't really feel as gripped as I would have been if I hadn't known what was happening. I never saw the twists coming in the movie, so I'm pretty sure I would have never seen them coming in the book. But again, since I knew them, I wasn't as engaged as I could have been. But that has nothing to do with the quality of the book. Overall, I think Confessions is a really great thriller, and it brings up a lot of very interesting topics relevant to today's world in general and I guess to Japan in particular and I highly recommend it for fans of Japanese fiction or for just fans of mystery and thriller in general or just people who like to read about people that are just messed up in the head really it's an interesting book and it offers a very interesting perspective on things so I highly recommend it to you guys let me know down below if you've read Confessions and what you thought about it. Let me know if you guys are taking part in Japanese June and what Japanese books you're reading or if you have any great Japanese book recommendations for me. And I will see you soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!